me and two other girls jumped in one of the stalls and I had them under my arms and all I could do was pray. If it wasn't for God, it's got me and these people would not be here. I realized that we were... We're getting hit by a tornado just because of the noise, the roaring noise. It's, it's, I've never heard anything like it before in my life. It's, it's wild. But then, as I was praying, I, I saw the the lights, the lights were flickering, and then it, everything went black. And I looked up, and you started hearing this. This whistling noise. It was the eeriest, loudest, and it kept getting louder and louder and louder. And then your ears, you start feeling your ears pops. And I looked up and I was, I could, the, the ceiling tiles vanished. And I would see, I'd see daylight, no daylight, daylight, no daylight. And then it, it's... It was probably a classic example of me. Probably being too much army and, and not enough Prince. I... I don't really want to get into, in, into, into details of what I think or what other people think. You know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I... Probably let myself down, let my family down, let other people down. But at the end of the day, you know, I was I was in a private area, and I sh there should be a certain amount of pri privacy that one should expect. In villages that cop the brunt of it, and in this article, it goes on to say that nine people were killed as this freak hailstorm rained down these massive boulders and they are huge. I mean, I've just never seen anything like this. <laughs>